Welcome back. I'm Kathy. I'm Robin. And we have a product today. Yay! I was Somebody. perusing the uh, As Seen on TV aisle at the Walmart and... Somebody came out with something new. Nutra Chopper. If, you, if you've watched any time at all, you know how we feel about the Nutra Slicer. It is. For grating cheese. Yes. That's for what grating we like. Yes. yes. And it's worth every penny. For Robin was borrowing mine and then she decided to invest in one of her stuff. Yes. I did. So I thought, oh, that's we love that. So maybe, yeah, because this is the, the same chopper. company. Mm -hmm. So let's. So we have reviewed a uh, chopper in the past, just recent, not too long ago, and we loved it. Remember, right. it was it the was one attached. That, no, it was the one that pushes down. All oh, right, it pushed down. It wasn't attached. Right, so your that's stuff what didn't go. because yeah. this one yeah. folds. That's what I'm worried yeah. about with this yeah. one. It folds yeah. instead of right. pressing. Right. So this was nineteen ninety nine. Right. Chops food with ease. Place thumb here. So it even tells you where to place your thumb. So you cut your finger. Oh, and it comes in a little container with the top. Here, here, here. Now oh, these are just directions. Assembly and selecting the blade. Oh, so it locks so you can hold it. So that's nice if you want to put it away. And this comes off. Okay, just pulls off. And then it comes with this little... So whatever you've prepared, you can just lock it up. Uh, I'm gonna show you right inside here. Okay. okay. So, how cute is that? Okay, what you wanna know? Thick slices, you just use this guy. Wedges, this guy. It's all seem pretty small. It's not like we're gonna have to cut stuff up. Uh, Dicing. Oh, you have to use two. Mm -hmm. Like there's a top and a bottom blade. Thin slices is the thin. Mm -hmm. and thick. That's kind of neat the way, that's a neat idea instead of having to have several separate blades. A good rule of thumb is to select fruits and vegetables that are firm and dense. But it does have tomatoes. Never use softs. Softs. It's plural. Never use softs or very hard fruits or vegetables with dicing or thin slicing blades. Need a proofreader. To cut wedges from citrus fruits, you must first cut the tops and bottoms to avoid damaging the product. Force the blade if it's hard to cut the fruit or vegetable. Use Never use one hand, you use two hands. Let's start with something hard and firm. Pretty sure I said firm and dense. Oh. So, I always had one of these choppers as a kid. Did you have the apple? Yeah. I don't know why I don't yeah, have one now. I, I have one now because Annie eats, eats me out of house and home with apples. So we're just going to try this stuff that's on the box. So we have onion, cucumbers, cheese, apples, potatoes, eggs, and tomatoes. Okay. And we're going to do some wedges first. See, this uh, is... Yeah, you're going to have to cut it. This it clearly says to do that, Kathy. I know, but it's like you're going to have well, to... Well, it's so why tiny. Not just I know. Cut I would it just anyway. cut it while I would. This says, for best results, small prepare apples. your fruit or vegetable by cutting a small piece off, creating a straight edge. Place the fruit or vegetable with the cut side down on the blade. Well, I just cut the apple already, and she, right, it she's already be. eaten it. Right. So, I mean, so, it's so tiny. Like, I, the it, other one we used, I mean, it had some... If you're going to get apples, get small apples. All right, so two hands. Let's see. Look, Mom, no, no hands. Oh, okay. Don't force it. Oh, okay. Oh, we should have attached the bowl. Oh, I guess not. Well, it worked. It did work. Uh, but unless you have a small apple, I don't know if it's... Yeah, I mean... I guess the one I had as a kid, too, also had the core in it. Yeah, the one we have... It's a circle in the middle, and then... One... Yeah, the one I have the house does that. So, eh. Apples. Not a great for apple wedge. No, it did show... Eggs using the wedge, right? No, it didn't. I think so, on the back of the box. Oh, yeah, the wedge. If you turn the height, which all right, so let's try quarters. An egg. An egg show be. egg. I mean, that's easy enough because I have the little egg thing. That I'm sure, to. those stink. Eggs do stink, but man, I love them. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, it worked. You want that to was easy. I was just trying to show the yeah. Do that in slow motion. I guess I should have washed this first. Eh, you know. 
Let's try the cucumber while you do this. And these are supposed to be you know. thick. So then with that, we would have to put this one in. Yes. And then here is the thick blade. Here, I'm gonna have to cut this first. Oh, and then that, it's gotta fit. Yeah. I know. This this is a disappointment. Right, I'm just gonna say that now. All right, let's see how big you could go. If you cut it like here, maybe. Okay. I don't know where the smell of cucumbers. They don't, do you? I hate cucumbers. What's going on here? Am I supposed to put my thumb here? Cut. Let's see if you can see. That's a pretty thick slices, though. But they're long slices. What if you want, I, I wouldn't want them that way. You'd want it that way. I'd want it this way. Okay. You know what I mean? That, that would work. So try the small one, see. Both, all right. So thin, you need to oh. use both of these to give you the thin. Oh. All right. We're gonna figure this out. All right. Oh, this isn't so easy. Oh my gosh. Oh. It looks pretty, but it seemed like it was a little hard. But no, that, that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty even and. Yeah, but I mean. It was hard. If you had any. Yeah, if you had any anything, dexterity, I mean like, yeah, any kind of hand strength issues, you, yeah, you can. Of course, at my, at the angle maybe, I don't know, but it was, that was tough. Let's try, what haven't we done? The dice thing. We're gonna do the dicing of some cheese. So we have to crisscross. They make you jump. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> Oh. But see, it's once again you gotta just... oh, right. Ooh. You have to do all this prep work for right. it. It's like we are so graceful. <laughs> Does it say to peel? We don't have to peel it, do you? So we want skin on. Oh, all right. Just saying. So let's see. I don't, that's gonna be hard. Real hard. Oh. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh. It says don't force it. Force it. Never use hard vegetables on fruits when using two blades. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna give my two cents right now. <laughs> it's not worth it. No, it's definitely it's not, not worth, worth $20 effort. and the effort and all the prep you have all to right. do. Here we go. It's, we're not loving it like we love the Nutra Slicer. You're making me real nervous with that elbow. Very hard with dicing, and you're trying to dice with a very hard vegetable. Okay, let's see. You're doing what they're telling you not to do. All right, really? All right. Jeez. Well, here, let me just do a slice. Let me see if I can just do. All right, let me just try to. Some big slices. Big slices. All right, let me try if I wanted to do like thin slices. Those were thick slices. Once again, Kathy, it says don't use anything hard with the dicing or the thin slicing blade. Oh, All right, try cheese. Yes. It's a little softer. So we're gonna do cubes, correct? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. Dice All right, so, like I said, you put these, the thick and the thin together, crisscross. Awesome. Should we do? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we love it. This is hard. It's too hard. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's working. It's not going to come all the way out, I don't think. <sighs> okay. That is. Oh my gosh, be careful. Oh, uh, well, that's just a oh my good God. mess. Yeah. I'll be back. All right, so we're gonna try the dicer with an onion. It did not work with the cheese. You could, that would, you'd have to have some really hard cheese. I mean, you could freeze it. And you, oh, yeah, I mean, there's way too much stuff. Oh my gosh, that's a strong, strong. Oh, yeah. Once again, I mean, you can't. 
tiny onions, tiny apples, hard cheese, tiny potatoes. I don't even think potatoes were. All right. I don't want these onions cooked. Oh, whoo! Oh no. Seriously. <coughs> and then you're making Woo! really nervous. I just want to cry. I know. Okay, you're definitely getting those juices out. Woo! Go, Kathy. Squeeze. Okay. Cut it down smaller and see. It was really? Too, like You're it was... concerned about that? <laughs> because this product stinks. You're concerned that the apple wasn't small. I mean, the onion wasn't small enough. Just okay, Kathy. Yeah, smell great. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Yep, that that was the problem. <laughs> Now they know. I have a tomato. I'm going to try it. We'll do slices. How about that? Well, that's what it tells you to do. Oh, you can't do diced tomatoes? You, and not unless you want to wish you miss. Even if you found one thing it was just awesome with, like the Nutri-Slicer. Because we're like, oh my gosh, this is worth its weight in gold yeah. for the cheese. For the but cheese. this guy, not so much. Oh, that onion. We do a thin slice of this. Make sure it's cut down. Got to get tiny tomatoes. Whew, whew. Even that's gonna hit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. This is just gonna smash. I mean. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah. That's. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tomato juice. juice. Yes. Everywhere. I mean. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Done. It's done. It's over. All right. So, Robin, what do you think? <laughs> well, it's a big letdown. Yeah. I'll advise you not to waste your money on this. If you need a chopper, we'll put a link to the one we did yeah. review that we loved. This one's just going to ruin your food and make it's you very, be very, very angry. Yes, very yeah. frustrated. Yeah. It is dishwasher safe. <laughs> <laughs> There's its pro. Okay, so, you know, um, always look for the positive. Right, right. You gotta get that in there. Yes, so let's just. Show I mean, all it features. would attach, right? It attaches while you cut. Yeah, you could put it. Yeah, yeah. So it goes right in there. And it would catch. So that's a nice. But if it worked, the way you have to hold it, I mean, because I was like really moving it around. Yeah. But yeah, then, okay. okay. All right. So it's time for. <laughs> oh, we had a Yeah, well, I didn't. Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah. It's time for question of the day. Uh, Gotta get those away. Woo, woo. What is one of your personality traits that has been very helpful to you. Oh. I don't know if mine's really, I guess it's a personality trait, I guess. Um, I'm really good at faking it till I make it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, let me not word it that way. I mean, I'm really good at presenting myself as very- In a confident way. Yes, in a very confident, I got this way, and I may not, but I'm really good at tricking folks, and then I can figure something out, and normally. Right. So. Um, let's say keeping my mouth shut. Oh. Yes. That has uh, probably helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. That is good. What's your personality <laughs> trait that has helped you? Let us know. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the red subscribe and the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Ugh.